Donald Trump blames the rising cost of food on high energy prices. Watch this. But I get more complaints about groceries, everything from uh, hot dogs to, uh, to bacon and eggs and everything. So what we're doing is, uh, they, and what they've done is they screwed up our energy. We had energy that was at record lows. It was abundant. The oil companies were making money. We're going to drill, baby, drill. And that's going to bring everything down. We are going to bring energy down by 50 percent, 50 percent, 50 percent within 12 months from January 20th. That is going to bring everything else down. You know, that, that really is quite a promise, isn't it? Uh, the gentleman on the right-hand side of your screen is Andrew Gruel. He is a celebrity chef, and he joins us now. Uh, Andrew, who do you think is better for the restaurant industry, Trump or Harris? Oh, uh, the important question, right? Be and everybody in the restaurant industry that I've talked to obviously brings this up because they look at the four years under the Harris-Biden administration, they contrast that to the four years under Trump. And let's just put all the other topics aside and look apples to apples, hamburgers to hamburgers. <laughs> You know, cost of goods was way down, sales were way up, it, you know, there were great real estate opportunities under the Trump administration. Under the Harris-Biden administration, cost of goods went through the roof. They told us that inflation was transitory, so we were slow to increase our prices. By the time we did increase our prices, they had gone up so much again that we couldn't even keep up with the need to increase the prices, so margins were just eaten up. Restaurants have been closing left and right. We've had labor issues, and then we got this port issue, right? We don't know what's going to happen with the supply chain. That, that issue's been kicked down the road until January. So if, it, if I'm comparing the two, I think people are looking for a Trump administration when it comes to the restaurant administration, rest, restaurant a industry. Andrew Gruel, thank you very much. A clean cut answer. We so often get well on the one hand and on the other hand, but you came right down with it. Trump's better for the restaurant industry. Thank you very much. Now, I'm sure you saw uh, t uh, Trump's uh, performance at the McDonald's. Uh, would, you know, we're going to run some video of it. I, I'm sure uh, he did well, but would you put him on a shift, let him work a shift in your restaurant? Look, I've trained hundreds of fry cooks, and the one thing I look for is, number one, that they actually like the food they're eating. We know Trump loves the food that he's uh, cooking. <laughs> yeah, and number two is a little bit of humility, you know, bring a sense of humor to it. I thought that whole situation was absolutely hilarious. But more importantly than the fact that, yeah, I'd probably give him a shift or two on the fryer, but maybe just so I could get my taxes cut, is that he shined a light on the often forgotten position within the food industry, the fry cook. Nobody thinks about the fry cook. They think about the front of the house. They think about the bartender. They think about the chef. The hardest position is the fry cook. You go home smelling like a French fry. <laughs> My kids absolutely, absolutely love that piece of it. And it's a hard job. So I think that overall this was good. I think we're getting pedantic when we start saying, was this sure. staged? Was this not staged? Of course it was staged. It was funny. Sure. He was humble. There was humility, laughs. I thought it was an amazing campaign stop. Yeah, it was a political success, I thought at least. Andrew, you've got a new book. It's called The Family Cookbook. It's coming out soon. It's all about making America healthy again. It seems to me that RFK Jr., he's brought food into the political arena. Are you doing the same thing? Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. I mean, I've been talking about the fact that kids need to cook more for the past decade because we've got to end these chronic diseases. I mean, it's obviously, it's RFK, Cali Means, Casey Means. They're doing a great job really bringing awareness to this idea of killing these chronic diseases that have been ailing our society for the past 10 or 20 years. And the amount of money that's spent on health care costs in the federal budget, which is over 20 percent, they say that health care spending is actually going to grow faster than the economy over the next decade. But I say the one way that we can start fixing that is by getting to know our food, getting kids in the kitchen, families in the kitchen. So this cookbook is all about real food, fresh food, easy recipes. It's a wonderful gateway into the kitchen, no seed oils. But this isn't just for kids, right, or families. This is for anybody. If you're just a single college kid living alone in a dorm room, you can pick this book up and get some really great crave-worthy recipes that you can show off with because cooking is easy, cooking is fun, and it's a wonderful way to bring the community together. Andrew Gruel always has something to say that's interesting. We appreciate that. Andrew, thanks for being with us. See you again soon.